The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, Edu Tabi here, and today we're going to take a look at the final, the original three Dreadnoughts torch. Excited to take a look at this. I like the Dreadnoughts. Uh, I think they have done overall a pretty good job on uh, releasing the group as, you know, got Ripper Buzzer, um, Zartan, Zoran, I mean, I count the whole group, uh, Naga Hide. So they've done a pretty good job of making out the line. This one is interesting, comes with some cool fire effects. There's also something else, and I'll point out here in a minute after we unbox it, that this probably makes this is the superior Dreadnought um, out of the, the original three, and just for this one reason alone. Before we get started too far, if you're watching this, I really, really would appreciate it if you think about subscribing to the channel, like, share this video, and uh, do me a favor, think about becoming a member. That really would help the channel. Okay. The new minimal packaging going over this is smaller. Uh, I don't really like it, but you know, it is what it is. Got the artwork here on the side. This is number 123. Got it right here in the back. We got him uh, with his flamethrower in the Dreadnoughts hideout. Got the grape soda going on there. Got the speaker and the motorcycle. You know, at some point, I feel like they're going to do some sort of my motorcycle set or something with these guys. Seems like that's an easy thing to do. Uh, like that. And we've got the barcode and all the little stats that nobody cares about in there. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, I will say one thing I don't like. The guns are just kind of that gray plastic. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see how it looks. But anyway, that's 123. Man, I really don't like the box. I don't I don't like this. I don't know. I get it. I guess they're trying to shrink packaging and save money or whatever. PET, plastic here or whatever. But uh, I don't know. I, I don't like it. But all right, let's up, take a look at it. All right, first of all, this this tray crap has got to stop, man. I I mean, it takes forever to get the crap out of the damn trays, and I felt like I was gonna like bend this in half trying to get it out. How did how the hell did they get them in there? I wish I knew. I mean, I had to cut the tray like make slices out in the trays to get pieces out. I mean that that seems like a, a crazy complaint, but it's dumb. It it really is. I don't know what what has changed where it it went from like stuff easy to get out but it didn't fall out right to where now i mean it's it, it really is it's it's a it's a problem it's a problem i i don't understand i feel like sometimes when i'm pulling i really did think this thing was you know this is bendy not as as bendy as you would think but i, I thought i was gonna break this trying to get it out of the tray right there that's that's not good so but let's talk about accessories so we got two pistols here uh what we got? Is it supposed to be like Desert Eagle or something? I don't know. Got some compensators on the end. Uh, with ports for effects. But it looks fine. I don't know. I didn't really like the gray. I wish there was a little bit more detail there. Um, and really the rest just kind of all goes together, which is very cool. So we've got his tanks on the back here. Knox rule. Uh, that is intentionally done apparently. Some little detail, yellow tank, everything else is black. We've got, uh, we're going to see how this peg works, but it's got kind of the, the angle there, so that might work out okay. Uh, we've got attachment point for the hose. Uh, I think this is the same hose that we've seen with the Techno Vipers. It looks like it, just black instead of like the silver. I'll plug that on there for your flamethrower. kind of showed you the flamethrower. The flamethrower is cool. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I like how they did the skull with the flames coming in out of it. Uh, just gray plastic there. Some decent detailing. Uh, you can plug here on the end of that. And then you got your, your flamethrower. 
So the skull is pretty cool. Not gonna, not gonna lie, that's some neat little effect. So then you get three effects. So this is this is cool. Um, it would have been nice to have like a ground effect with like flames shooting up, but uh, I'm not gonna lie, I like this. So you've got one that is like getting ready to shoot the flame, right? And you've got one here with like a big ball of flame coming out. I was kind of looking and see if there was like a design or something in there. I thought that was, but uh, maybe not. And then you've got another one with like a, a line. I like this one. Uh, just like your flame shooting out in the line. This kind of reminds me of the way they, they look. Uh, so the old ones were like, what is it? Uh, Napalm is like uh, the liquid jelly stuff and then the fire inside it so it sticks to it and the two chemicals react. I don't know. But anyway, this is pretty neat. I like that. So let's let's bring in the figure and I want to show you why I think this is uh the figure to look cool. But here's why this is a superior dreadnought. Look at the glasses. Molded in. Uh that is the way the first two should have been done. The glasses on Buzz and Ripper are, are terrible. Uh, the first one, I get the two names mixed up. But the one with the chainsaw, that's Buzzer, right? Yeah, I think. Uh, with the blonde hair. Uh, his glasses will not stay on his face no matter what. Uh, Buzzer's or Ripper's, whichever one does. The second one, his does much better. But still, this is the way to go. Bolded on. You never see him without him, so why not? But you can't tell me this isn't like the spot on. Uh, for Lemmy and Motorhead. I mean, come on. That is just too, <laughs> too damn similar, right? But figure looks good. It, this is this this is what reminds me of the figure. So we got blue jeans. We got black kind of motorcycle pants with the thing in front of the knees. Two leg drop side holsters here. You can put your pistols in. I don't know if we're going to try to do that here. But let's see. Like that. Put the other one in like that. This figure feels a lot better than in the than, than Jinx, and in the same wave, uh, I will say that Jinx, man, Jinx is something. The more and more I, I've got that figure sitting on my shelf, and uh, yeah, I don't know if that figure is gonna. You know, I complained about the leg uh, coming off in the video, and I got money back from BBTS for that. I got, well, I got credit. I complained about it, but it's still, I don't know. It's, I, don't know, I feel like the figure's just going to end up falling apart. But, uh, got studs, got chains on the jacket, the back of the pants, got flames, chain for the belt, got a tattoo here with flames, which I don't mind this. Uh, got the chains wrapped around the wrist, the jacket. Um, I mean, I guess you could take it off if you wanted to. Well, maybe not with the straps here. Got a necklace and then got a choker as well. But this this looks really good. I mean, articulation on this guy is everything. God, that's a tight joint there. Is everything you'd normally see on the Joe. We got kind of that U cut. Uh, so you can do an ab crunch. The jacket's going to get in your way there for a bit. But you can do that. He can look down pretty decently, I guess. Head side to side. Look up. Butterfly. Yeah. Course bicep. Double elbows. No pins. Thank God. Leg is up. Leg is back. Side. The thigh cut is hidden. I did up under there, but it's there. And then you got the rocker. I mean, not the rocker, but you got the joint inside the boot there. So that boot rotates, and then you got a rocker on the ankle. So overall, this is a good figure. Uh, it feels good, feels solid. Joints are tight. I like that. So let's put the backpack on him. Flamethrower. See what it looks like. All right. There he is. Flamethrower. Uh, there's enough hose. I mean, you can kind of fix it however you want to. Um, one thing I think I noticed it when I was putting the uh, hose come off. Well, you just have to plug that on there. Like that. One thing I think would have been nice is additional set of hands. 
so you can kind of have like a, a holding hand to go up under your flamethrower. Kind of hold that. I don't know if you're necessarily going to do it one-handed, but I mean, that's a minor thing. But yeah, looks pretty good. Really like the fire effects. I think this is probably the best of the three original Dreadnoughts. Let me know in the comments what you think. But uh, I really like the way this looks. And I'm hoping maybe they'll re-release the original Dreadnoughts either in the retro line and fix the glasses. I, I mean, I think they're good figures. Don't get me wrong. I like them. I think they look good. It's just this molded glasses way is the way to go. So but there it is. Torch. The final of the three Dreadnoughts. Still a lot of Dreadnoughts to go. Uh, you know, at some point, I hope we'll get the Thunder Machine and Thrasher. Got to get Monkey Wrench. And there's, you know, was it Road Pig? He's a Dreadnought, right? And there's there's more, but yeah, this is a pretty cool figure. Thanks for watching the video. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you'll do me a favor and think about checking out the channel, trying to get to 5,000 for the end of the year. We're knocking on 3,500. I know it's a long way to go, but everybody subscribes. It really helps out. And goes a long way. So thank you for watching. See you down the road.